Hello from Terminal 3 of Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport. I'm flying today to Hong Kong on Cathay Pacific Airways Airbus A330-300. The departures area of Terminal 3 looks quite busy this afternoon with a series of departures to various cities around Asia as well as domestic destinations within the Philippines. It's been over 10 years since I flew on Cathay Pacific and I was quite keen to fly on this airline again. It was one of Asia's best airlines back in the day but has seen a decline since its glory days. Nevertheless, it still is a very good airline and boasts of a wide network spanning multiple continents. Cathay Pacific's check-in counters are located in row A, which is to the extreme end of Terminal 3. As I reached the check-in area, I could see a sizable crowd of passengers waiting to check in. Each group seemed to be carrying multiple check-in bags. I just hoped that the check-in process would not take too long. As luck would have had it, it took me almost an hour to check in and I made my way towards immigration which, as I found out later, would take almost an hour as well. With hardly any time remaining for boarding to commence, I started walking straight towards my gate which was roughly an 8 to 10 minutes walk away. So I'm finally about to reach gate 108 after a long, long walk after finishing immigration and security. The check-in today for my flight to Hong Kong took about an hour. There was a long, long queue and the immigration queue was super long as well. So all in all, I think the overall process took close to two hours and boarding has just begun for our flight. So I made it just in time. Waiting at the gate was a 9-year-old Airbus A330-300, Bravo Foxtrot. Singapore Airlines Airbus A350 has also just arrived and will depart later in the evening. Boarding had already commenced, I did not have to wait at the gate at all and made my way towards the aircraft. I'm seated in 44K this evening, a starboard window seat and have this nice view of our Rolls-Royce Trent engine. Let's do a quick seat review before takeoff. Cathay Pacific's A330s have a seat pitch of 32 inches in economy class which is pretty good for a medium haul aircraft. There's a standard seat back pocket that holds the literature and headphones. There is an additional storage space above the tray table to keep your wallet or mobile phone. Let's take a look at Cathay's in-flight entertainment system. The IFE touchscreen on this aircraft is quite responsive and the display quality is top-notch. There is a wide variety of programming available including the latest movies, TV shows as well as documentaries, games and music. The A330s are equipped with the Flight Path 3D map and flight information system and I found it to be quite good. You can use your fingers to zoom in and out of the maps as well as scroll and explore various cities that are part of Cathay's network.
We push back with a delay of about 15 minutes, which is not too bad for a congested airport like Manila. So we've taken off from Manila's Ninoy Aquino International Airport around 15 minutes ago. It is a relatively short flight today with a flying time of around 1 hour and 40 minutes. This is an 8-year-old Airbus A330-300 which seems to be in decently good shape. Looking forward to Cathay Pacific's onboard service. Dinner was served around half an hour after takeoff and the choices were chicken and seafood. I opted for the chicken adobo which was served with some garlic rice and sauteed veggies. A small bottle of water was also served along with cutlery and an antiseptic towel. However, there was nothing else that came with the meal. The chicken adobo tasted quite fresh and flavorful though. Hong Kong is in the same time zone as Manila and we have roughly an hour and 20 minutes to go before arrival. Our route today is a quick hop across the South China Sea into Hong Kong's Czech Lapcock International Airport. There was no separate drink service on this flight and I had to ask the crew for a cup of coffee which they gladly served. Cathay Pacific provides these wired over-the-ear headphones in economy class that look quite good. These are not the best in the industry but are not too bad either. The headphones do not provide any sort of noise cancellation but fit my head quite comfortably. I decided to watch Puss in Boots, The Last Wish on this flight. As mentioned before, the display on the IFE screen was pretty sharp. We have roughly around an hour to go before our arrival into Hong Kong. This is a relatively short flight at 1 hour and 40 minutes and therefore sees a curtailed onboard service from Cathay Pacific. 
the meal was chicken adobo with garlic rice and was not served with any accompaniments. I had to request the flight attendant for a coffee because there was no separate drink service. It's now time for the mandatory loo review. The restrooms for economy class are located between the two economy cabins and were pretty standard. They were stocked with basic amenities and were kept quite clean. We arrived nearly 30 minutes early into a wet Hong Kong International Airport. The block time for this flight is 2.5 hours, although our actual flying time today was only close to an hour and 45 minutes. The sheer size of Hong Kong Airport always amazes me, although it's been over 7 years since I have been here. The airport has undergone a major expansion along with the addition of a third runway. Good evening from Hong Kong International Airport. It was a decent flight on Cathay Pacific from Manila. The flying time was 1 hour 40 minutes. Not too special, it had a curtailed service on board due to the length of the flight. But here I am in Hong Kong. Uh, I have a layover of about 12 hours, so I'm gonna head into the city and enjoy some dim sum.